Introduction to Amos Amos was a shepherd in Judah when God called him to go north and preach to the people of Israel. This was a time of great wealth and prosperity for the people of both Israel and Judah. Not only were they doing well, but their enemies were not. Samaria, the capital city of Israel, was very wealthy and filled with luxuries. At the same time, many farmers were suffering. The rich gave them loans they could not pay back and then forced them to give up their land and became slaves. The leaders did not think they had any reason to worry. They were the chosen people of God. Surely he would not judge them. But God sent Amos to warn the people, Stop worshipping idols. Stop treating the poor badly. Stop cheating others. For the day of the Lord's judgment really was coming. Who? Amos, a shepherd from a village outside Jerusalem, was the writer of this book. Amos is the third book of the Minor Prophets. When? Amos probably wrote this book after he finished his ministry and returned home to Judah in about 760 B.C. Why? God sent Amos to warn the people to stop their wickedness, stop worshipping idols, stop mistreating the poor, and stop cheating others. If they did not, then God would punish them. Redemption Thread God wants his people to live a life of service to him and to others. Pretending to be religious while cheating the poor does not please God. Jesus gave the same message to the Pharisees in the New Testament. Teachings from Amos God's reasons for punishing Israel. Amos 3. Seek God and live. Amos 5, 4-17. The day of the Lord. Amos 5, 18-27. First vision. Amos 7, 1-3. A Messiah's opposition, Amos seven ten through seventeen. Announcement of judgment, Amos nine seven through ten. Announcement of restoration, Amos nine eleven through fifteen.